Here we are. All right. So today I'm just gonna not at everybody on the Discord. We're just gonna see how long it takes the Discord bot to uh, notify everybody. <laughs> Gotta test it out. So um, we're ready today. I've got my milk and my mac and cheese. <laughs> Uh, this is Bulbasaur themed, but you can't really tell until I eat all the mac, so. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm probably going to end up explaining this again when more people show up, but we're going to make a pot pattern by YBL Suits, because one of the viewers requested that we do that, so here's the pattern. Um, I'll show you all the pages here. Oh, uh, it's upside down. <laughs> Good. Oh, I almost forgot my Santa hat. It's still Christmas time. I'm allowed to wear my Santa hat. My extremely long Santa hat. <laughs> All right. And we've got Bench in the background. She's here. All ready to go. Say hi, Bench. <laughs> All right, so... Well, I'm going to be waiting for everyone to show up, and we're going to get started on this. Um, I'm going to just start shaving some of the fur, because that's a messy mess, and it's pretty boring to do, so. Sweet! <laughs> All right, we got our peoples. Hey! <laughs> yeah, Scotch was the one that uh, asked about this. Ooh, how do I pronounce that? KG or Kagi? Kagi? Ooh, you're going to have to help me with that. <laughs> um, I've got my Mac. Hmm. All right, let's get started. Um, so we're going to make a pattern. We're going to make this pause for, uh, how do I say it? Osiris, Osiris, Osiris. And, um, Osiris is a huge help on the Discord server. So I'm going to pay them back by making them these paws. And they want red and black and maybe a touch of white. So let's see what we have to work with. Yeah, yeah, Kagi. I don't know how to say your name, but yeah, you are the first. <laughs> All right. So we can do some really cool designs with red and black. I was thinking maybe we could just split it down the middle. Make like a split cool design. So let's see how that goes. Um, <laughs> Kamari's here. Hey. We've got Bench in the background. So here's my tiny little, tiny little drawing pad from the dollar store. Super cheapy. So let's figure out what we're doing today. We have hand paws. So I'm going to draw the hand paw. Usually kind of like this. I don't know how well you guys can see this when I'm drawing this. Anyways, just a really fast, silly sketch to try to get the color ideas. So this is the back of the paw. Um, this is the one. Uh, it's the feline paw pattern, and it does have claws. But you can totally do it without claws if you want. Um, I'm going to do it with claws because I'm hardcore. <laughs> All right, so where's my colored pencils? Oh, you know what? Sharpie. Ooh. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Is this red? I've never used this before. It's kind of red. Ooh. I love that idea. It's just that I already promised these paws to somebody else, so... um. It has to be those colors for that person. So I was thinking some kind of opposites like this. Yeah. Let's see. Do I have a black over here? There we go. There we go. So this is kind of what I was thinking. Um, always sketch out your pattern first because... When you look at it, you might not like it as much as you think. But this is what I was thinking. 
I think it'll be cool. Um, we're gonna make the claws white and the paw pads white. So we're gonna see how that goes. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you like that. Oh, sugar's here. Everybody is here. Hey. <laughs> so here's our pattern. Um, I'm gonna share my screen with you guys so you can see what we're working with here. Uh, screen share. Oh God. All right, uh, is this it? Yes, okay. I'm hoping you guys can see this. Uh, good, okay. So, w yep, YBL suits. I never actually heard of them before. Uh, Micah sent me this pattern to do. So she purchased this pattern. Um, so if you wanna do this pattern, you should purchase it too because that's the right thing to do. It's the nice, it's, it's nice in the artistic world because this isn't the kind of thing you wanna just share around with your friends. Um, so yeah, if you, if you want this pattern, go and buy it. It's not that much money. It helps support the artists, so. <laughs> hey, we're just glad you're here, sugar. Uh, if I had to critique this pattern, the one thing I would say is on this, um, this PDF, I would have put the pattern hand paw first and foremost, like right here, that, uh, that paw, I would have taken the picture of that, but, uh, so you can't really see the finished product that well on this PDF here, but that's all right. So um, I'm just gonna go through this whole thing with you guys. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Scotch, yeah. This pattern is not free to use. Please purchase it um, from YBL Suits. And it's totally fine to look at it and try to sketch your own, but don't copy it because that's, that's not right. <laughs> that's stealing, that's art theft. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go through this together. Um, Tools, printer and 8.5 by, by 11 paper. So that's just regular sheet of paper. And yeah, you're gonna need a printer. This particular pattern only uses three sheets of paper. So make sure you have the three sheets of paper. I'm sure you've got three sheets of paper. Uh, sewing machine, optional. Yeah, um, I would die without my sewing machine, but it is totally possible to do it without a sewing machine. Hand sewing needle and thread. I've got my thread and my little hand sewing needle. Fur clippers, okay, this. <laughs> um, I just keep checking to make sure you guys are able to see. Yeah, the curl works. That's totally cool. Um, one day when you, st you start having more money because you're older or whatever, and you wanna try some other patterns, that's a, good, that's a good time to try some other people's patterns. But right now, if you can't afford it, you know, you can try the free ones and have fun with that. <clears throat> so fur clippers. Uh, if you've watched anything I do before, you know I'm, I don't really like fur clippers, I just use my sewing scissors because they cut through fabrics, including fur fi fibers, very well, so um, if you guys want to see me do fur clippers one day, I will, but right now we just got our sewing scissors. Pins, alright, so pins, um, yeah, so box of pins here. Let me switch to the main real fast. Box of pins here, but I'm probably not gonna use them. Here's my wonder clips. I always use these, I love these things. Good sugar, I'd love to see it. <laughs> yeah, show me what you guys make. And I'm gonna screen share again, here we go. Uh, scissors, yes, so scissors, uh, fabric scissors right here. If you have, the small fabric scissors, I highly, highly recommend these. These are incredible. I can't live without them. <laughs> but you can't, you can get by with just the big ones, but. Black Sharpie. Um, yes. I don't use Sharpie for anything. I think that's a bad idea, but, uh, what, I'm not sure. If you want to use a black Sharpie, that's fine. Um, I'm not sure what she's planning on using it for, but, uh, I keep a pen for drawing little patterns, and I keep... My colored pencils over here for tracing patterns, so. Um, black Sharpie, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Definitely have black colored pencil, though. Okay, so yeah, down here she has pencil or a dark pencil, probably for tracing, so that's fine, too. A uh, slicker brush. You guys should know what this is. Just one of these wire brushes. Mine's got this little turny turntable, so if I want to brush it sideways. So that's kind of cool. Um, materials, furs of choice. Okay, I've got all my fur colors here. 
Fabric of choice for paw pads and claws. I actually forgot to get those. <laughs> uh, stuffing. So regular polyfill stuffing. Just the regular stuffing you find at the store is fine. Mink your fleece for the hem. So they're talking about that little... Hang on. Let me get it. <laughs> they're talking about this edge material here. If called bias tape, you can just buy it like this. Called Yeah, it's just bias tape. Because it goes... It's cut on the bias. It's kind of confused. It's confusing, but, uh... It looks like your cat's brush. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, it's sweet. It's rotor. Hey! <laughs> Arson gecko. Yeah! That's a good idea. I'm gonna look that up later. I can't spell that. I'm just gonna write it down and I'll look it up. That's a good idea. Thank you. I can spell it. S-M-I-N-I-K-E-R. Clippers. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> Poor Rudder. So busy. <laughs> Alright, yeah, stay as long as you want. So, uh, yeah, they're using... You can use any material, really, for this edge, but I use bias tape because it's already uh, pre-cut. And I lost my bias tape, so I'll get it out when we get to that point. <laughs> Um, thin material for inner pillows. Okay, I'll explain that when we get there, because that's kind of confusing. But the stuff that we have now is probably fine. Okay, personal recommendations. Short or seal fur for the fingers. Yeah, I don't have any short fur. All I have is this long fur, and we're going to shave it. But if you have shorter fur, it definitely will save you a step, because you won't have to trim it. Fleece or minky for the paw pads and claws. Yup, yup. Or a fun vinyl. Vinyl, okay. We'll do vinyl another day, because that's... You kind of you kind of need a sewing machine for vinyl. Like, okay, you wanna you one hundred percent need a sewing machine for vinyl. Um. Okay, just making sure you guys can still see. Spandex lycra material for inner. Yes. Okay. So we have this inner lining here. Um, that's what we're gonna use the spandex for. That's just straight up workout material. If you have a straight up, not straight up. If you have a um. Like a workout shirt or something, it's that same material. Very stretchy. That's what we use for balaclavas. Um, so yeah, you're probably going to need that for the lining of the paw. But that's one of the very last steps. Um, pencil when tracing on lighter fabrics. For the sake of the tutorial, I used Sharpie. Oh, okay. That's why they use Sharpie. Okay, so I feel like they shouldn't have put Sharpie in their materials list, because that's a really bad idea. Because um, one day I'll show you the inside of Big B's bodysuit where I use Sharpie and it's just, it doesn't wash out, but it does and it bleeds and it's just a really bad idea. So, <laughs> yeah, Sharpie for the sake of material that makes sense so they can see it and show us. But uh, I use colored pencil. I like my Sonic colored pencil if I can. Um, so, yeah, forget, forget the Sharpie. I would get a light colored pencil and a dark colored pencil. So, like black or purple for the dark and then. White, preferably, but I have a yellow one, so that works. Um, white jelly roll pen or chalk for tracing on darker fabrics. For the sake of tutorial, I use a thin Posca pen. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> um, well, this, this is a jelly roll pen. It's, uh, let me go into normal mode here. This is a jelly roll pen. Um, super... Super cool looking. It makes these really bright colors. Eh. Almost shiny sometimes. I don't know if you guys can see the sparkles. Because I don't have an HD camera yet, but uh, I'm getting there. So that's a black Sharpie, and one of the Jelly Roll pens is the red one. So it's kind of pretty. Oh, don't forget the Christmas spirit. <laughs> Yo, you, you just reminded me I still got Mac here. Thank you. <laughs> Not bad. Alright, I'm not going to use a jelly roll pen um, to trace on the fabric. I'm just going to use my light and dark colored pencil. What am I making? Um, hand paws. <laughs> Specifically, uh, hand paws pattern by YBL. 
Yep, that's what we're doing today. Um, because of Christmas and stuff, uh, I have to go at five. So we're just gonna we're gonna make as far as we can until it's five o'clock, and then um, we're gonna continue next week. I'm pretty sure we won't finish because this thing takes forever. Making pause takes forever. So we're just gonna get as far as we can. Yep, if something you used isn't listed here, feel free to use it. This is just what I prefer. Yep. Cool. Okay. Preparation. Print. Yes. All right. So, print on eight and a half by 11 or letter size paper. That's just a regular sheet of paper, at least in the U.S. I don't know about you guys over there in Canada or anywhere else. I have no idea if you guys use weird shapes of paper. Print horizontally. That'll just be automatic. Uh, borderless. So basically, you just want to make sure that when you're printing, you print it at 100% size. Um, I'm sure it's got it. Yeah, so like right here, 100% size. Um, and then you'll be fine. Yep. And it should take up like the whole, the whole screen like this. Uh, not screen, the whole page like this. Okay, I forgot to screen share. So here we are back screen sharing again. Um... Yeah, this is the page I was just on. Yeah, print 100% size and you'll be good. Uh, preparation. Cutting the pieces. Make sure the square in the corner is... Oh, they're going to have us measure it. <laughs> okay. I didn't actually read this part yet. So they're just trying to make us make sure that it's the right size. But screw it! I'm sure it's the right size. Am I right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's interesting about this pattern is it includes the seam allowance. So normally, you'd cut out the pattern, and then when you're tracing it onto the fabric, you'd leave a little extra. But this one, you'll just see. We, we're just going to cut right on the line. It's very confusing. Cut out the paw, paw pad spaces, too. Yeah, yeah. So, yep, this is what we got to get to. So, um, back to Twitch main. Now I want pause. Yeah. Oh, those, yeah, I know Rudder is looking for PC parts. I was just at Micro Center. I spent 40 minutes outside the door waiting to get in. And all the, all those uh, graphics cards, all those really important expensive pieces, all sold out. All of them. But I did, I did manage to get a few Christmas presents. Don't ask me why I was buying Christmas presents last minute. Uh... Oh, yay! Looks like I, uh, lost my paper scissors. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, I'll use these. I'll use these. Okay. No, I don't want these. These. I've got so many scissors. Okay, so, uh, I guess you do need a normal pair of scissors. These are my sewing scissors. Don't use them on the paper. Use normal scissors. Yep. Now you guys just get to... Sit there and watch me cut out some paper. Right? Paws are my favorite, because once you get the pattern down and you know how to do it, it's super fun. Poor Scotch! Okay. We'll see you later. Sorry, you gotta go, but... <laughs> yep. Have a good one. Alright. So what have you guys been up to? You guys do Christmas? Been shopping at all? Ah, Azardy, hey! <laughs> We're getting the whole crew in here today. Okay, so we've got this piece. Obviously this is going to be the inside are right here. Um, I'm working on making one that's printable like this, but I don't have it yet, finished yet, because of Christmas, I've just been so busy, but, uh, somebody suggested earlier that Curlworks has a free pattern, so, um, try Curlworks for now, if you want a free one. Uh, yeah, Rudder, Micro Center is just PC parts galore, it's crazy, and it's awesome. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Hey, all you gotta do is, um, decorate the tree, prepare for Christmas, have fun. 
Make cookies. <laughs> That's a good mom, making all the foods. I hate cooking. I've tried, I've tried so much, but I like, when I was a kid, I loved pretending to cook. I thought that was so much fun. But man, actual cooking is just a disaster. I do not like. Unless it's mac and cheese, then that's, that's an ultimate good. You can't go wrong with that. I always good. I'm always good with cooking that. A furry themed gingerbread house. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but that doesn't sound edible. <laughs> the mac is yummy. You're welcome, Fel. <laughs> Fel and I take turns cooking each other mac and cheese. But he kind of, like, did half of it today, so I, I guess I can't take credit. <laughs> Ooh, chocolate cake with Oreo frosting. Man, please. Can your mom just, like, come to my house? sugar and just make me some food. <laughs> Wig me vibing in a collar. Yeah. I made him a Christmas bell collar. Just cutting out the pieces. I'm going kind of fast, but you guys don't have to go super fast. This part right here, um, when you sew it together, it gets this curved shape and that's going to be the top of the finger. So like uh, this this top puffy part right here. Yeah, we got bench back there too. <laughs> Delicious. All right. Um, man, this part just takes so long. So for this middle area, you're just gonna kind of fold it and just. Snip it. It'll give you an area to uh, get in, and then you can just do your best to try to get around. Don't go too fast when you're doing these middle sections. You still want it to be nice and neat. <laughs> Don't go fast like me, basically. Hi, Benj. <laughs> so did you guys see the pattern I was, um, I guess the coloring I was going to use? Kind of like this. Yeah. I'm making it for Osiris. I don't know if that's what they're into, if they like that pattern idea, but if not, uh, I'll, I'll make up something else, I guess. I don't know. I just hope they like it. <laughs> they didn't give me a specific. They're just like, make it red and black, maybe add some white in there, I don't know. So, that's what we're doing. Rudder, please! How can you not like Mac? Did somebody give you bad Mac? Is that what happened? It's a classic. I'm so sad. <laughs> Sugar is just like... <laughs> I agree. Ah, uh, yeah. It's it's like when you want to when you want to eat some specific food, but then there's like dinner in a few hours, and you're like, dang it, I really was craving ramen or whatever you were craving. Oh, you like it, but you can't finish it. Okay, maybe maybe we could just give you like a small side of mac and cheese. Put it with something else. Put it with something else. Just just get a little cup of mac and cheese. I don't know why this is so important. It just is. It's just mac and cheese is ultimate. So I'm kind of thinking maybe we should just do half the pattern. Like uh like make one single ham paw on stream. But we could also make both ham paws. I don't know. Uh I guess we'll see if there's just any interest in watching that, but. A commission, yeah, for a, well, kind of, uh, kind of, it's more like a present because, uh, Osiris and the, Osiris, dang it, I'm, I'm trying so hard, I don't know why I, I want to say it wrong, Osiris on the Discord server is, um, 
and Party Cone. They're my main mods, and they do a lot of work for me because I I I, I ain't got the time to do Discord. So they're always there doing work for me. So uh, as like a Christmas present slash some kind of payment, I'm making them whatever they want. Party Cone isn't even really a furry, so uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll do them a favor or something, but. Yeah, so Osiris, I'm making them some hand paws for Christmas. <laughs> All around me are familiar faces. Okay, so we got this. This says inner. So this is the inner one. And you can flip it to do the other side here. So we're on our last page here. We're going to cut out these, and then we're going to trace it onto the fabric. Hot dog in mac and cheese. Okay, I've heard lots of people do this, but why would you want to waste the space in your belly? You only got so much space to eat food. Why would you want to waste it with hot dogs when you could just fill up entirely in mac and cheese? Now that is a true life worth living. Uh... I don't know. I don't know how you would make... See, I, I, I've never made any kind of paws or, like, hand paw thingy, whatever's, for a shark-like character. So if you want, we can try to develop that. You guys could watch me try to figure it out if you want. I think that would be kind of fun. I'm guessing... Because a shark is more like a fin, so I don't know if you want it like a big fin piece with, like, a thumb, or if you want actual fingers that can move. Um, where's my pen? Here we go. Let's try this. So... So something like that, where it looks kind of like a fin, but it's still a paw-ish. It's not exactly a paw, but you know what I mean. Like you can... Like that, where it has fingers. I don't know, if you're looking for something like that, um, we could do something like that, maybe. Yes, okay. Just, just, just cutting out paper. I skipped the part where I printed this. I was gonna print it with you guys on stream, because I try to do the whole process on stream, but, uh, that kind of didn't happen because the printer is in the other room with Fell, and one Fell is trying to work, I think. So, he'd be probably talking. And, two, uh, without my, uh, plug, my computer plugged in, it'll buy in, like, three seconds. You'll get, like, one frame per second watching me. So, <laughs> I just thought it's probably for the best I just print this pattern and then show it to you guys. Just, yeah, just the cutting it out process is taking me a few minutes here. You can't cut paper. <laughs> it's hard. I admit it's hard. Like, it's actually more precise than you'd think. And especially if it's just not something that you practiced a lot as a kid. I was always super artsy. Like, my whole life, I've always been making, like, all kinds of stuff. I've made, I've made origami things. And I made, like, a birdhouse. I, I've made chairs out of cardboard and like owls and crazy crazy stuff so here's some claw shapes i think i don't know why there's multiple i think it might just be for you to choose anyways i'm just saying i've had a lot of practice of previous previous practice cutting paper so if that's not something that you did a lot um it's it's tough for sure very precise movement but when you're cutting, um, I don't know if you noticed, keep your scissors nice and straight and actually turn the paper around your scissors. So if you're cutting on a curve, turn the paper to the curve. And that will actually help you a lot. So next time you're uh, cutting some paper, try that. Hold your scissors still and just turn the paper and you'll end up with something nice. Uh... I gotta scroll up a little. I'm a little behind in the chat here. Uh...
Hot fingers. Yeah, I don't know. You might have to just show me an idea of reference uh, of what you mean, sugar. Because I'm trying, but I'm a little confused. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Buy a hoodie and add fur and a face. Hey, that's a good idea. I like that. That's a good idea. Should make a Figby hoodie. I have a pattern. I have a pattern for a hoodie. Okay, guys. It's decided. We're making a hoodie one day. That's a lot harder, personally, to me. Because it's got, like, the inside layer and the outside layer. It's, it's, it's harder. It's harder for sure. But doing it step by step with me, I think you guys could do it. Oh, yeah, Rudder. If, if there's not, a, like, a pattern on there, I can't cut it. Like, I can't. Whew, I have to draw it and then tra cut on the line because I can't just cut it freehand. I will never succeed. All right, we're on the last piece here and we can start tracing. Where you could get a kigu pattern. You know, I was just reading. Uh, somebody on Twitter was asking about that and then I totally forgot what the response was. They got a few good... Uh, Hmm. I wish I knew. Alright, actually, I forgot about this piece. So this piece... Um... Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, I made a mistake. <laughs> Alright, so... This piece here... Um... Probably should try to not cut through it. Like... Uh... Where's my scrap here? I don't know. So to cut, to cut through this piece, I kind of just snitch right in the middle here like this and that's fine because it'll it'll hollow out the piece the way you need to like this but if you're trying to keep come here if you're trying to keep this inside piece intact um you're gonna have to be a lot more careful about how you cut it but uh personally i think it's fine if you don't keep this inside piece because you can use this to trace so basically, if you destroy this inside piece while cutting it out, um, that's fine. <laughs> that's like a personal preference thing, if you prefer to trace it that way or not, but it's fine if you did cut it. Oh, see, that's, that's sad. I bet you could do it, Rudder. You just gotta keep trying, because... I know, I know you've got that creative side. It's got to work, uh, maybe, maybe you just got to find that right type of artistic outlet. Maybe you haven't figured out what you're, what you like yet. Maybe drawing isn't it. And maybe cutting paper is really not it, but maybe there's something else. I mean, even, even putting together a computer, that's, that's a kind of creativity. So, I don't know. I hope you can find some other cool, other cool hobby like that. Oh, here we go. Okay. Got my red here. <gasps> I do! I should share that. Do you care if I share that on, like, Twitter or something? Because I really liked that. That was really nice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Looks like we just need to check curl works because it seems like they've got some patterns here. All right, where's my little notepad? Gotta write it down or I'll forget. Um. Okay. All right, so now we're onto the tracing step, and this paw is just right in my way. <laughs> Uh, let's, I didn't, mm. okay, so this is our pattern, this is the back, so I really need to draw the front, also, <laughs> hey Yodi, <laughs> welcome to the crew here, so I gotta draw the front as well so I know what I'm doing, this doesn't have to be super neat, if I wanted to, I could draw it really well, but I don't want to because ain't nobody got time for that. 
All right. So, where is my Sharpies? Red Sharpie. Okay. Okay, so if this is the outside. This is... I need to draw the... Super quick. Okay. So, this is the inside. This is the outside. Uh, so I gotta decide how I want the colors to go on this. So, I think I'm going to flip it. Yeah. So let's put the black on the same side. Where's my Sharpie here? Let's do this. So even if you think you know what you're doing, I would make just a really, really rough sketch and uh, really rough coloring of it. If, even if you can't draw, just like, just to know what you're doing, because sometimes when you're making the patterns and stuff, it gets a little confusing, just like, what was I doing here again? And I've accidentally cut out multiple parts that were never used, and just I've just previously just made mistakes on pieces I was cutting out, just because uh, I didn't have a little mini reference here. So it's a good idea. So I colored this in red Sharpie, so you can see the... This is the gel pen, in case you wondered what the gel pen looked like. So, um, I left this white, because the claws and paw pads are going to be white here. So, let's try it. Oh, shoot. I wish, ah, if we could just find one kind of reference uh, sugar, it would be great. For, um, just so I can kind of know what you're talking about. That's so hard. I hope you find one, because I don't mind uh, coming up with whatever pattern, doing whatever. I just need to know what we're doing. <laughs> you made a cardboard guitar. Rudder, that's interesting. Good at Minecraft builds? That's harder than it sounds like, yeah. Entire house perfect enough to be built in real life for school. Holy cow! That's really cool. Good job! See, you got that skill. Just because you're not, like, a super drawer or whatever. Bleh, drawer. Okay, so, this is, we're gonna do the inside here first. And because it's flipped like this, um, I'm going to need half of a red side of this inside piece and half of a red side of the inside piece again. So instead of just tracing half on this side and then half on this side. I'm just going to trace this whole thing on our red and we're going to just cut it in half after. This is kind of a confusing pattern to give you guys, but um, that's probably a good thing because I can't just do the easiest patterns forever. I'd write, I'd, uh, I mean, color color combos, I mean. I want you guys to kind of see how to how to do the harder ones too. Okay, line it up here. Good. Um, Alright, so the sharper your colored pencil, the better. You'll be able to see it much better. So, on a mid-color like this, uh, some colors you definitely need a white colored pencil. And some colors you definitely need a black. But, on a lot of the color colors, it's like, it, you could go either way. White or black. So, I'm going to try this yellow, because I don't have white on me right now. And I'm thinking it looks like black might be easier to see. So the next one I trace, I'm going to try black. Because obviously if you're tracing on black, for you'll use the white colored pencil and vice versa. But if you're tracing on a color like blue or purple or red, it's hard to tell whether or not it's going to be a good color to stand out with, with white or black. So you, sometimes you just got to try it. You gotta just do it. Okay, I'm gonna trace these. So I mentioned earlier, usually I'll use some kind of Bristol board or cardstock when I'm making a pattern. Um, and since this is printer paper, it's really hard to trace around. So if you are having trouble tracing, I highly suggest you just, um, you cut out your pattern like this and get your nice Bristol board. 
trace it out on this and cut it out again because then you'll have this really this really sturdy pattern it'll be much easier to cut out and much easier to deal with and if you want this pattern if you want to use this more than once especially definitely trace it out on a bristol board or something or a card stock whatever stronger paper you have because that'll last so much longer for many uses Ah, oh, yeah, Rudder, you'd be a cool architect. <laughs> you, already, you know, I'm something of an architect myself. I just watched uh, the original Spider-Man trilogy, and I forgot that that was a meme. That, uh, I can't remember his name, the guy that's the original goblin, he's like, you know, I'm something of a scientist myself. That's Apparently that's a meme, and I didn't know it. Ugh. <laughs> uh. perfect red yeah i love this this is just straight up it's either it's red or fire red it depends oh 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 i see okay yes okay yeah sugar we can totally do that we can make that happen so i can um Ooh. i didn't i didn't know they streamed i thought they just made youtube videos christmas red yeah, me too. That is a bright, happy color. Well, guys, I don't mind if you stream hop, you know, like... I know that this is, uh, this is a process that takes a while, so if you want to switch between streams, go ahead, have some fun, whatever. I'm just here to hang out with you guys and teach you some stuff while I work on some stuff, so... I want you guys to have fun, too, so if you want to switch, uh... Do what you want. I won't feel guilty. I mean, you shouldn't feel guilty. Um, okay, so we got this red hand paw. Uh, I don't know. I was going to do one hand paw, but maybe I should do two. So this one is going to be for the inside of one of... This is fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. I'm just confused. Okay. <laughs> Aw, you're so sweet. Don't feel like you have to stay, though. I, I really appreciate it. You're so sweet. <laughs> All right, so we got our sewing scissors here. Um, I'm going to try to cut this out. I'm going to use black next time I trace the red here. Okay, see how this keeps falling? I'm going to revert to my old trick of heavy water bottle to weigh it down. This is just, like, the best thing ever. One day I'll get some proper sewing weights, but until then, uh... We have water bottles. Did I finish my milk? Okay, I was gonna say, if I'm getting fur in my milk over there, I'll be very sad. There we go. Okay, so what's different about this pattern is, um, usually when you draw a pattern, uh, gosh, this is so dark. I'm gonna definitely use black. I'm sorry if you guys can't see it. Where is my black colored pencil? Come on, stop hiding. Yeah. I think I showed you guys my Sonic one before. I love Sonic. He's a good boy. Here we go. Okay. So just this line I'll color darker so you guys can see. Okay, good. Yeah, you guys can see that. So usually when you trace a pattern, this is the line that you've traced. Usually you'll leave a tiny bit of space to cut around it for a seam allowance. But actually, this pattern, in particular this pattern, says that the seam allowance has already been added on. So this is a weird pattern. I don't know if I like that idea or don't like that idea, but for this particular pattern, you're gonna cut exactly on the line. Um, I'm gonna use these little scissors. Sometimes the big scissors are helpful, but most of the time, honestly, the little scissors are so much easier to maneuver. I just love the little scissors. Who is here? Oh, Cran is here! <laughs> oh, the jaw! It's hard! Sugar, if you, if you want some uh, help, just send some screenshots, if, if you want, into the Discord and I can give you some... Uh, Critique, maybe I can see something that you can't, and we can work on it together. If you want, you don't have to. 
But I'm sure, I'm sure it's not that bad, I'm sure. It just, when you're stuck, sometimes it helps to have another maker look at it. Or just another artist, because even any, any kind of artist, they can kind of tell if something looks off, so. Any of your art friends, really. Deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> For computer reveal? What, my computer reveal? That's funny. I know, I wish I could do face reveal, but, uh, I kind of already played that card. <laughs> Maybe it would be, uh, how many followers for me to actually wear Figby head during the stream. That would be the most jacked up thing. Whatever I'm wearing, making that day would be awful. Set up. Oh, set up. That would make sense. You guys would be sadly disappointed. I have... Uh, what is it? Uh, Dell G7 laptop. It was like 1300 bucks or something, but it's already like a two years old, I think. And I don't even have a special webcam or mic, but I did ask for that stuff for Christmas, so we'll, we'll see. Not a laptop. I don't want to ask for that. For my for Christmas, that's expensive, but I asked for a new webcam, so we'll see if I get one of those. I hope. No cable management. Yeah, you just got cords everywhere, going under your desk, in your face. And <laughs> just imagine. Rudder, I want to see your setup one day. Like, I don't know if you want to wait until you've got it all up together or whatever, but I know you've got a lot of cool, I don't know, you're just, you're good, you're good at your computer stuff. I'm very, wanna, I just wanna see what you got going on. Oh, oh man, do you share a room? That's the worst. I used to share a room with my twin sister. We did not fit. We, we just took up too much space together. Yeah, sugar. If you're if you're willing to, just put it in the in the a screenshot or two in the Discord. Um, it's probably fine, honestly. But I can give you some ideas on what I think you could do to improve it. Um, Rissy, yeah, Cran. I know. I'm so excited for you. If you want, we can work on her on stream. Or if not, we don't have to. Um, if you want it to be a surprise, or you don't want anyone else to see. But, uh, that's totally up to you. <laughs> sure, my setup is a laptop and a bunch of random crap. Okay, so we cut out this. Uh, now we have to cut out these little holes here. So I'm gonna start doing that. <laughs> I sleep on the couch so I don't have a setup. But I have a laptop. Honestly, though, you have a laptop, which means you have access to internet. And internet is life in this day and age. Also... Internet is access to memes, and that is also life. <laughs> Yo! That's cool, Azuri. I didn't know you streamed. What do you stream? Also, uh, that's how I take a lot of my photos. Um, I, I just attach my, my, my phone to a phone tripod, and I have a clicker button. That takes a photo, so I'll hold up the hand paws and I'll use my toe to, to hit the button and I'll take pictures of hand paws that way. Because I need my hands. It's hard to take pictures. I don't really have anyone to help me take pictures usually, so it's just usually I have to come up with a creative way to do it myself. Uh, anything you want, sugar. I'm sure we'd all watch. <laughs> uh... Oh, I got it, yeah. We have that too, Rudder, where it's just... I mean, if I go back to my parents' house, for the longest time we had, uh... Just the the one computer. It was a desktop, and it was just in the, in the living room, and you could use it whenever you wanted, but... That was always stressful, because whenever I was drawing art, like Warrior Cats fan art, and they... I don't like the idea of my parents looking over my shoulder while I'm drawing cats trying to bite each other. I don't know. It just stressed me out. Or I'd be role-playing on the Warrior Cats roleplay forums. RIP! 
<laughs> Rest in peace. But, uh, yeah, it was always really stressful. I didn't like being... I felt like I was being watched by my parents. <laughs> All right, Cran. I'll do it. We can work on our own stream. Totally fine. Yeah, we need more fursuit makers up here. Make fursuits and play VR chat as already. Cool, okay. Yeah, see, we'd, I'm sure we'd all like that. I've been meaning, okay, I was, I had the idea if we all got on VR chat together, that would be so, so fun. I don't know, man. I think, I just thought it would be cool. I have a 3D model that I just keep forgetting to look into VR chat. I was talking to Rudder about that. It, it's like, I just gotta, I gotta rig it up for VR chat. It's so close. I got this nice model. He's T-posing. Um, extra little piece here. It's big enough where I might be able to cut a, a little paw pad or something. I don't know. I save the bigger pieces because I can make spots with it one day. So here's where we're at. Ta-da! Okay. So now I'm going to cut a black one just like this. Oh, uh, yeah, Fursuit Friday. Ugh. Yeah, Warrior Cats. There's a lot of people, how, how a lot of people got interested. One of my favorite things growing up as a kid was watching uh, Robin Hood. Robin Hood was my favorite. You know, the Disney Fox one. I'm sure you guys know which one I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, see ya, Yodi. How often you wear a fursuit? Are you talking to them or me? Doesn't matter, I'm gonna answer anyways. <laughs> uh... Cause if we're talking on stream, it's like, never. But next week I am gonna do a full fursuit up because uh, somebody requested that. Uh... And the only reason for that, I, I don't mind wearing it, it's just the only reason is, since my streams are usually showing how to do stuff, it's just, uh, harder. Harder to do stuff when you can't see and can't move, so <laughs> that's why I'm in human suit right now. Other than that, I used to go to fur meets, uh, once a month there was a fur bowl in Farmington Hills in Michigan. So that was about, how far? Maybe like an hour away? I don't remember. But I had to drive to it. Uh, so usually my friend Keegan would drive and I would just, I, I would just wear my suit in the car and we would just turn on the air so I wouldn't get hot. And I would just, just chill, just riding in the, the passenger seat. And we would, uh, we would go after after the after the fur meat, the fur bowl was over, we would go to uh some kind of food, but we always decided Taco Bell. So we'd always drive up to a Taco Bell. And I would I'd be in the passenger seat and I'd lean forward and I'd look at the guy in the window and they're like, You only see this kind of stuff in the one a at one AM and I just laughed so hard. Like their reactions every time were just wonderful. Just the drive through at Taco Bell, just them seeing, like, what the heck is this uh, mascot -y cute character thing in this person's car? Like, it was just so funny. Definitely something to try. Because, you know, I can't drive like that, but... Your Wi-Fi is terrible. Poor Cran. I hate that. Oh, sugar, you did? That's nice. Where did you go? There's not really anywhere for me to suit anymore. Yee! Cran, I'm so excited. All right. I uh, traced this outer area, so I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> cut that out. All right. Again, quick reminder, this pattern 
This particular pattern happens to already have a seam allowance, so this one you want to cut exactly right on the traced line. Because if you don't do the seam allowance right, you're gonna be messed up. <laughs> when I first started, um, I didn't really understand that. Okay, I was like, I was like worried because you know how you have a certain amount of fabric right here. Um, I thought, well, it's easy to cut down if I have too much, so I would always leave the seam allowance huge. And actually, don't do that. Um, you just gotta trust that you did the pattern right and you got to cut the seam allowance correctly and if you messed up um just you're gonna have to cut out a new piece of fur but don't don't get worried and then leave a huge seam allowance that's way too huge because that will really really mess up your patterning i don't know that might just be something that i did i don't know but <laughs> It seems funny to me now that I would have even done that because that was so long ago and it's just such an amateur mistake, but uh, I was an amateur. <laughs> you really do learn just the more you do stuff. Okay, so now actually I'm going to take this and lay it on top just to make sure that it looks like it was cut out properly. Um, Pretty good for the most part. I'm going to do a tiny little... Snip here and here. Good. Yeah, so just after you cut it out, double check to make sure you did a good job on cutting it. Sometimes when you trace the pattern, you miss you miss a little spot or two and it's kind of off. Like if I got the angle wrong on one of these finger spots, then it might not have gotten uh, traced and cut right. And yeah, just double check. It's easy and quick. It'll save you lots of time. Okay. Also, keep this super duper sharp, always. So I'm gonna sharpen mine. This might be loud, I don't know. Okay, sugar. Um, at, and my time zone right now, it's four o'clock. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure what time you're at. So for the people who just came in later, uh, I'm only able to go till 5 today because I've got to get some Christmas shopping, not shopping, wrapping, Christmas wrapping done. But um, whatever we don't finish today, we're going to finish next Wednesday. Sorry you have to wait that long. <laughs> but uh, you can get a few hand paws started at least. That's what I do. Sometimes I do it in an assembly line where I get like ton of it cut out. And then I do all the shaving at the same time and all the sewing at the same time. Assembly line style. Oh yeah, I lost Mr. Woofs for the past two days and I was very upset. But I found him and I was very sad and scared, but he's he's K now. My good boy. Alright, so I'm just gonna cut out the, the extra little holes now. Oh, see ya Rudder, thanks for showing up and just hanging out for a while. CDT. It's 3.02. Okay, so they're an hour behind me. Sugar is an hour behind me. So, um, I do have to get some Christmas wrapping done, but if you do stream, I'll definitely put it on uh, in the background while I'm working on some stuff. Also, if you've, if you've got a stream or something, I mean, we have a... A, a tab, not a tab, uh, ooh, what's it called? On our Discord, we have a channel, it's a channel, for self-promotion. So if you have any kind of, uh, streaming, or if you're selling some art, or anything like that, put it in the self-promotion, because I'm sure, I mean, I, everybody would like to see it. We'd all like to know <laughs> what you're up to. Yeah, if you guys have any friends that might be interested in this kind of stuff, uh, send them towards the Discord server because that really helps me out because, uh, yeah, I don't do any kind of advertising. The only advertising I get is from you guys. So, um, <laughs> however much you guys spread the name of 
uh, my stream and just our Discord or whatever. It's it's the only way I we get more people. So I really ap uh, appreciate it. So thank you. They them. Okay. <laughs> I love that little um, emoji. That one makes me laugh. Okay, so we've got this. We've got this. Now this is going to be a really fun part. Um, our pattern is like this. And so this is the inside. The, these two that we cut out are an inside. So this is, this is what we're looking at right now. So we're actually going to cut it in half so we can put it on either side. Yeah, that's the thing. Whenever I'm talking about or to anybody in the furry fandom, I'm like, Ugh. I, I try so hard to just like keep it ambiguous because I don't want to mess anybody up. I don't want to accidentally say the wrong uh, pronoun, I guess is what. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to cut each of these in half so I can swap. And I'm going to eyeball it. So I don't know if you know this, but uh, see how the back of the fur has these lines on it. So if you're trying to cut a straight line, um, you can actually just kind of follow along that line, which is really, really helpful. Because now I don't need to trace it. I don't need to trace a line on there because I don't have to eyeball it or anything. I just follow the little line. But, of course, if you want to trace it, whatever you're working on, do so. If, if you think that'll help your project come out better in the end, you know, do what you got to do. There we go. Okay, so we got two halves here. We're going to cut this one in half now. Do, do, do. I'm excited for Christmas. Uh, although I still didn't get my Christmas tree up. Like, legit. <laughs> uh, that's what we're going to do today. Because usually we try to put it up when uh, we get family over for Thanksgiving, but... Uh, the way it worked out, we just didn't... All of our family was kind of separated because we were all... Um, I mean, my grandparents were sick. We were just visiting each other, family, and... Basically, my family wasn't together at all. So it's like a... It was really hard to get everyone together just to put the tree up. But it's last second, but... Tree is going up today, at least. <laughs> all right, here we go. Yeah, that looks sick. All right. So, um, next step, I will definitely sew these together right now before I cut out any more pieces because I don't want this to start getting confusing for me and you guys, but uh, I'm sure you guys can follow along. I'm just the one that's confused all the time. <laughs> so um, we're going to get out our Wonder Clips here. Ta-da! Wonder Clips. I've never tried the off-brand Wonder Clips. Because I only, I just bought one box, and it's just been enough for me. So, um, I don't remember how much comes in here, but I don't feel like you guys want to count it with me on stream. It's like, all right, counting with Clovercat. <laughs> one, two, like, ugh. I'll count them later. If I had to guess, I'd say maybe 30 in there? I don't know. It's like one of those jars. It's like, how many M&Ms are in the jar? Count the right number, or guess the right number and win something. I don't know. <laughs> but. Basically, I'm just saying, you don't need to get one of those bulk packs on Amazon or whatever that's like 100 Wonder Clips. I think that's excessive. I think 25 is... More than you'll ever need, honestly. All right, sugar, go ahead. See how it goes. Eh. Hey. You don't have to show your face. A lot of people are not, uh, don't want to, and also, I don't know if you're a minor or not, but, uh, I think you said you were, I don't remember. But yeah, that's, uh, totally fine. 
a lot of gamer streamers don't even show their face and even furry people like youtubers and stuff don't originally i wasn't going to but then uh i realized i can't really show you guys making while well, making stuff unless i creepishly wear like a balaclava or something the whole time so i said screw it i'm just gonna just gonna show my face I'm not a minor, so it's not super, it's not a super problem if I show my face. But if you're a minor, then it kind of is a problem. I don't know. I'm not really sure how that works. Oh, great, guys. Good news. I unplugged the sewing machine again on accident. Avatars of their personas called the tubing. Interesting. Oh, that's really cool. That's, that's strange. That's different. I've never heard of that. Okay, we're gonna hand sew part of this. Particularly this, these, this tiny little piece on the top here, and some of this uh, looser, this tiny little piece, because it's easy to put this big part to the sewing machine. But these little pieces are probably just gonna jam up the sewing machine, or just, it'll be way more difficult than it's worth. So we're just gonna hand sew those little spots. Interesting. So yeah, I've never heard of that. I don't get out a lot. <laughs> That's so interesting. I don't watch a lot of uh, furry uh, content creators these days because I just don't have time. I guess I could. Because when I'm working on projects, I'll usually put on random YouTubes. But So I guess I could put on their stuff, but... I've been I've been trying lately cuz I I want to support their stuff too to watch more of their things. I just find myself more gravitating towards uh video video game related things to watch. I guess it's cuz I kind of get enough of the furry world when I'm doing streams with you guys, so I I I don't want to get overloaded with furry stuff. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm working on stuff that's just monotonous, just like I'm doing right now, just sewing, um, I'll just watch something that's educational, like technical things, like how do air conditioners work or something. I don't know. I just something learn learn something. Yeah, sugar. Uh, tell us when you stream if you decide you're gonna do that. Uh, put it in self-promotion. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, I'm almost done sewing this tiny little piece, and I'll show you where we're at. I always feel like when I'm sewing on camera, or just doing anything on camera with showing you guys stuff, I feel like I should have my nails done, like... I hate that, that people can see my nails, because they're not super nice. It's just like, look at my nails. Okay, here we are. Okay, so this top part is super thin. It's kind of hard to see, actually. Let me get out the... So this is the pattern. This top part is super thin, so when, when we cut it in half like this, um like this, we had to sew it by hand, this piece and this piece because it was very thin. But this piece up here, we can just sew with the machine. So um, that's, what, that's what we've got going on here. Looks really cool. I like the kind of checkerboard style we've got going on. You know what, it kind of reminds me of Vans. You know, like the shoes? Because I've just gotten some Vans lately and, um. It's reminded me of that, because they've got those really cool checkerboard style. <laughs> hey, Cran, I'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out. All right. Yeah, I know, this is kind of the boring part. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that's all kind of boring. 
Oh, well, well. So just gonna tuck the fur in to get this nice little pinched thing. Yeah, pinch it. Yeah, pinch it good. Make sure none of the fur is sticking out, and then you put the wonder clip on the end. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna hand sew this tiny little spot that's right here, this little spot. I don't want to, I don't want to hand uh, machine sew that, that just the idea of that is stressing me out because <laughs> I've gotten fur kind of trapped up in the sewing machine before and it's, it's, it's not that hard to fix. It's just annoying. I don't know if any of you guys have ever used a sewing machine, but it's, uh, sewing machines can be trouble and annoying, but it's way much less effort overall. Like, the tiny bit of annoyance that it gives is worth putting up with for the amount of time it saves you. <laughs> the time saved ratio to amount of annoyance. <laughs> We're turning into a math channel now. Feel free to not listen. <laughs> All right. Tie this off. Good. All right, so after we, so we're gonna hand sew this part and then I'll pin this. Um, so here's our pattern again. Um, we just did this inside lower piece right here. So um, I guess I'll leave it up to you guys, whoever's watching. If you wanna do the uh, the fingers next, the up, the fingers or the back, the back piece of the hand, like right here. Doesn't matter to me. I'm gonna do it either way, so if anybody has a preference. Sewing, sewing, sewing. I always watch a movie while doing this part. Up to me, yeah, that's cool. I don't really have a preference either. <laughs> I guess we'll just do the back side because, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll just do that part, I guess. <laughs> All right. So make sure you knot it right at the end there so it doesn't come loose. Good. Good, good, good. I'll pin that after, whatever. So now, we got this inside part, and we're gonna get this outside part. So that's just this big, this big fluffy spot on this hand paw. Um, these, these hand paws are, I like, what I like about these is that the wrist part is longer. And I'm gonna do that to, to this pattern that I have, because I think the wrist should be longer. So I'm gonna start doing that on mine. But uh, yeah, that's the part we're making, is this wrist part right here. So let me find where that went. Oh, is it the same? Mmm, good. Screen share. Here we are. Okay. Yup, yup. So you can see, this is the directions. This is kind of what I was doing. So yeah, you can see their pattern here. This is what they were tracing out. And that diamond shape is just um, part of their markings. So it's not... Um, necessary for you to draw that diamond on yours. So this is the way they're shaving theirs, and um, you can do that how you want to do it. You can also read how their tips are here for doing it. Um, I'm gonna not shave that centerpiece of the hand paws, but I will shave the fingers. Yep, okay. So this is probably the part we're going to have to do next time, is the, t these, uh, the paw pads themselves. But this middle inside part, that's the part they shaved. Maybe I should shave it just so I can keep along with the tutorial. That's fine. I'll do that. Um, okay. So, being the inside, this is the part, this is the part they shaved was like this part up. So 
if I'm gonna shave that right now, I'm gonna have to sew this line first, so I'm gonna do that. But of course, first of all, the most important question, which one of these plugs plugs in the sewing machine? Yes, okay, good, we got it. I thought that was gonna be a problem, but it wasn't. Uh, let's see. If you don't use a sewing machine, that's fine. It'll just take you a little longer. This is called a bobbin. It's got the same color thread in there that you're using. Basically, well, just a really rough idea of how a sewing machine works. Basically, it just takes the, the, these two threads, the bobbin thread and the normal thread, and it just kind of like weaves it through together, like at the same time. I can't really, ooh, kind of like that. I'm not really sure how to explain it, but that's why there's both. You need both. Yep, so I guess I'll just turn this a little bit so you guys can watch me sadly th uh, thread this. I hate threading the sewing machine. Just because I've just done it so many times. It's just, oh, it's so annoying. I just get, I just get frustrated. Takes me too long. Okay, good. So I'm going to sew this through the sewing machine. So I'm going to lay it flat like this. Kind of flatten down all the fibers the best I can. Because the puffier it is, the harder it is to get it through the presser foot. Um, so I'm going to just go through slowly and take off these clips as I go. I'm going to get, I'm going to get a cam for this. I swear I will. One of these days. Sorry about that. For now, you can just, uh, I'm, I'm going to show you one day. There we go. So I just realized, um, by doing it the way I did, where I cut out two reds and then, like, a red and then a black, and then I switched the pieces, just realized by doing that, that didn't leave a seam allowance for here. Um, so technically, I guess I should have uh, cut them out separately, like, this red piece and then another red piece and a black and a black, rather than cutting it in half and swapping the pieces like I did. But... Um, it probably won't make that much of a difference. It'll probably be fine. It just makes this a little bit thinner, but since it's thinner all the way around, because both sides are going to be thinner, I think it'll be okay. But, um... See, there's, the, there's me trying to pretend to be a professional, but still making amateur mistakes. Okay, so here's, here's this piece. That's good. Now we're going to do this piece... Well, it was nice of everybody to come in today, especially because I know it's Christmas Eve. I'm sure lots of people have family over or they're busy working on some Christmas thing, but um, that, that was nice. We had lots of people for a while. Kind of a little bit slower now, so um, if, if you're bored, don't feel like you have to stay around. That's totally fine. <laughs> I'm doing better than you. Oh, I doubt that. I'm sure you're doing wonderfully. I want to see what you're doing. You should show me what you're doing, because now I'm really curious. And paws are just my favorite thing ever. All right, so I got these pinned. I'm going to flatten this up a little bit. <laughs> Squish it. I'm just going to... Sew this really fast. There we go. Excellent. Whenever you go through a sewing machine, I, I uh, I think you should always check both sides to make sure that 
you're, you didn't accidentally get off a little bit. So you want to make sure you get good, good strong lines on both sides so that whatever it is you're making doesn't come apart. A bunch of stuff. Yeah, I want to see that. I, mm, I'm so excited. I'm excited to see where that goes. Especially like a, just like a, just a black cat. That's just like so cool. I love that. I want a black cat for a suit. I don't know if you can see it, but this line here kind of goes off the edge a little bit. So I'm actually right here. Yeah. So I'm actually going to run it through the sewing machine one more time just to get that spot a little bit better. <laughs> you can't rush perfection. I'm not rushing perfection. I'm rushing you. <laughs> I love that Squidward just like backhandedly insults him. SpongeBob is such a good show. Okay, this is awesome. We've got these inside of our paws. Oh, here we go. This is going to look like this. Oh, here we go. Wow, this is awesome. This is gonna look very cool. <laughs> Yee! That's really cool. Okay. Sweet! So now let's see what that said about shaving again. See here, you can see in their example, um, they shaved this whole top part. And you don't have to shave that top part, um, like this top pink part. What I do, with mine usually. I used to shave this whole bottom side, but um, I actually kind of like it fluffy. It's just a personal preference, but I kind of like the fluff here going around. Um, so that's one, it's personal preference. And two, if you have some kind of weird pattern or something, um, you, sh you can shave it to make that pattern stand out a little bit more. Like I did a swirl pattern on Shiloh's hand paws and I actually, I don't think I ended up shaving that spot because um, I thought it looked better fluffy, but if I wanted it to show up a little better, I could have shaved it. Um, so that that's personal preference slash, depending on your pattern, it might be helpful. So let's see. Tracing the pattern. I might as well go through all of this, even though we already did. Yeah, so they want you to trace it and flip it. Yeah, I guess I'm going to show you that. Trace the palms, trace the two with the pad, and two without. Symmetrical, so you don't need to flip it. Yep. So this is the parts we just did the inside. So we're going to take that same exact pattern to trace the back side now. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Oh, no. Did it, was it showing you my screen? Dang it. Okay. Sad. I have a second screen at uh, my parents' house. I just keep forgetting to bring it over. It'd be really helpful because I could have my Twitch screen set up and then whatever my screen share is to make sure that it's not jacked up. And it keeps, ugh, keeps messing up. So I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm going to get another screen. I'm just broke. <laughs> very, very broke. <laughs> okay, so here's what we got. Got the inside and the inside. So this is the same. It's going to be the same shape. So for the outside, we're going to trace this two more times, but we're not going to cut out this paw pad spot because obviously this is going to be for the outside of the hand. We don't need the paw pad spot for the outside. So, similarly, we're going to do this black and red thing. And I mentioned a minute ago that I forgot the seam allowance. Since I already forgot the seam allowance, I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side because then it'll be even on both sides. Um... Here we go. Right. Make sure you see this arrow? That's the way the fur should be facing, that direction. So uh, I think I mentioned this before. I don't know who was at that other stream when I mentioned this. I always have my fur direction facing the same way, which is this way when I cut it. Because I used to change the fur direction, like move it around or whatever. And then I'd always end up accidentally cutting the fur the wrong way and wasting a huge piece of fur. 
And fur is really, really expensive. This fur fabric, like 20 to 30 bucks a yard. Uh, sometimes more if it's specialty furs. So, um, yeah, I always have my fur facing this direction. And if, if I need to move it, I'd be really careful to make sure that the arrow is always facing the right way. The problem I'm having right now is that I don't seem to have enough colored pencils. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to have to go get some of those. But I don't know if you can just order white, just white and black colored pencils. Maybe on Amazon or something. Because right now, um, those are the ones I use the most. It's just plain black and white for tracing patterns. So... I don't know. Maybe you can buy just plain black and white colored pencils. Yep, just trace all the way around it. Again, I'm wishing I traced this on cardstock first. Because this is a pattern I'm probably going to keep around. I'm just probably just going to store it in my pattern bin. I have a, a small... Make a small folder for your bin... For a, make a small bin slash folder for your patterns. Here we go. That looks good. I'm going to cut this out. And I'll show you guys mine if I don't make a mess. Here's my pattern bin. Uh, it should be bigger, but this is a, my small pattern box. And every single one of these zip locks includes its own pattern. So here, small wolf tail. Foot paw. So put it, put it in a zip lock. Label it so you know what it is. When I'm done today, I'm going to put all these, all these pieces in their own Ziploc. I'm going to label it, uh, what is this, what is it, YFL, I think? Suits? I think it's YFL. I forgot. <laughs> and, um, I'm going to put it in its own Ziploc, label it that, YFL Suits hand paw pattern. And, ow, I just lose everything. Then I'll have it out for next time. Okay, I lost my little scissors. I needed them. If you have a choice, if, if you're broke and you need some sewing scissors, okay, well, first of all, if you're doing this, you need, you need sewing scissors, 100%. There's no getting around it. Sorry. <laughs> um, if you're broke, though, and you need sewing scissors, get the small ones rather than the big... Like, if you, if you can't afford both, both is ideal, of course, super ideal. You gotta choose one. Definitely the small ones. I cannot live without these. Like, I have an easier time cutting minky with the big ones, I've noticed. But most faux furs, cutting the backing is just easier with this little, little one. Because you can maneuver it better. And I don't know if anybody heard earlier when I was saying, uh, when you're cutting paper, you move the paper and keep your scissors still. It's literally opposite for cutting fur. Um, you move your scissors and you keep the fabric still. At least that's how I do it. Of course, you can do it however you want, but this is the way I've found success. And the reason I think it's easier to have the fabric still rather than move the fabric um, is mostly just because of the pile of the fur. Like, um, doing... It, it's... Mm, if you keep curving, it's just hard to exp it's hard to explain. I guess you can try try it however you want. Move the scissors or don't. Move the fur, don't. However, it works for you. But this is how it works for me with these little scissors. <laughs> I guess if you're a big guy with big hands, you might need the big scissors, but I don't know. I haven't been able to see any of my guy friends in a long time. Ooh, who's here? Ah, it's Kamari. Hey, Kamari. You've returned. We're just cutting out furs and complaining about how I haven't seen anybody in years. <laughs> because the world is on fire. <laughs> okay, here's the back piece. Go right here. Eh, like that. Alright, so now we just need a black one like this. I'm 
gonna do our Christmas cookies today. I'm really excited for that because I don't know if anybody knows, but I've got the hugest sweet tooth. But mostly, especially for cookies. Cookies are, other than mac and cheese, cookies are my favorite food. I mean, mac and cheese is obviously the top, but cookies, I, oof. I will get fat off of cookies for sure. I really need a white colored pencil. You got the same scissors except blue? Dude, that's so much better! I'm jealous. I love blue. That's so cool. There's so many candies you want. So are you more of a hard candy person or like a chocolate person? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I'm dropping stuff. I just, I can't go two minutes without dropping stuff, guys. It's terrible. After the stream, I have a huge mess I always gotta clean up after. One more. There we go, okay. Sonic is ready. Hard candies, yeah. Okay, I've met some people like that, and I just can't understand. Like, I, I don't know, I just don't get it. Hard candies just do not do it for me, but... What kind of hard candies do you, do you like, then? Like, are we talking, uh... Like, hard, like, the Laffy Taffy, or, like, hard butterscotch, or... Like, peppermint candy? Like, I just, it's just unbelievable to me. I, I just assume everybody in the world just loves chocolate like I do, but... Yeah, when you're tracing this pattern and it's on this regular printer paper, it is so hard to do. Like, I'm struggling right now. And I do this all the time. This is what I do all day, is make fursuit stuff. So, if I'm struggling, you know it's hard. <laughs> I don't claim to be the best best at this either, but I'm just saying, this is difficult. Nerds, ooh, okay, nerds are cool, good. Jolly Ranchers, those are good. Werther's and Starburst. Okay, okay, I get it. You like the good ones. That's fine, I like those too, but I only like, like them, not really like in love with them. Also, I have never tried a Werther's. What, is, what flavor is Werther's? Oh, you still like chocolate? Good. <laughs> All right, I can respect that. I'll make. I'll, I'll remember if I ever see you in a, at a con or something in person. I'll just bring you a huge bag of Werthers or whatever. <laughs> Good. Jolly Ranchers are cool too. I always liked the green apple ones. You have a specific flavor that's your favorite, or just kind of whatever. Again, don't forget that this already has a seam allowance, so cut right on the line. That's what I keep gotta keep reminding myself because I've never done a pattern like this before. Even my own patterns, I always don't leave a seam allowance. That's just the way I work. Maybe I'll switch it up. I don't know. I don't. I don't hate it. It's a good idea. Pretty much just hard caramel. Oh, okay. You like them all, but your friend gave you a pack of tropical Jolly Ranchers. Ooh. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Like, we talking, like, coconut and banana flavors kind of thing, or... <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to elaborate. <laughs> Four boxes of nerds for Christmas. Dang! All right! I'm good for that. That sounds awesome. I do a lot of babysitting, and all the moms know that I like cookies, so they all gave me cookies for Christmas. <laughs> They're like, Caitlin, we know that you like cookies. Uh, oh yeah, I accidentally spilled spilled the secret spilled the beans on my name the other day, so I guess it doesn't matter. I just did it again. 
Oh, pineapple, lime, fruit punch, and mango. Oh, cool. Your mom bakes a lot. Dude! I wish my mom baked a lot. I want her to bake me stuff. That's great. I used to bake a lot. Now I don't bake too much, but I do bake once in a while. And, uh... I baked pumpkin pie for the first time, and it actually turned out good, and I was surprised. I would definitely try the fruit punch and the mango. Actually, I would try all of those. Here we go. So, I'll, I'll cut these here. Oh, that's so cool, Kamori. Yeah, I would love that. We could meet up, and I will give you a bag of nerds, and we will take a picture together. <laughs> I can't wait for Anthrocon and all the cons to come back. Oh, I'm choking on fur right now. Ugh. Alrighty. Good thing the fur has the lines on it. It's really helping me out here to go cut straight. Otherwise, I'd have to trace it, like trace a nice line. It's extra work. Yeah. I was, okay, bring, it just, anybody that brings me cookies is immediately on the top of my list of good, good people. <laughs> or if you, uh, or if you like mac and cheese, you're also at the top of the list of good people. Mac and cheese is just an ultimate food. Okay, but the only time... This was, this is not okay, like following the, following the lines. Once in a while, you'll get fabric that's kind of warped a little bit. It's not a problem, but, uh, you can't really, because it, it still looks fine from the front. You just can't follow the backing lines because sometimes they're angled. I don't know if that makes sense, but most, most of the time you can follow the lines on the back if you're trying to cut straight. Maybe I'll find an example I'll show you guys. One day. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. The purple or blue? Hmm. Drink some water and try to not choke on fur. <laughs> Just dying over here. All right. So I'm gonna just swap these like I did last time. See, the problem is, right in between, each of these should have just a tiny bit more on either side of them for the seam allowance. That's the problem here. But we're gonna be fine. We'll be fine. That's something that you only learn with time. And now next time I do it, next time I cut in half like this kind of color, I'll remember. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're not, it's fine, you're not spamming the chat. I, I appreciate you just hanging out with me, actually. Because it's kind of a slow day. I think it's because it's Christmassy time. Sometimes when I'm hanging out in my friend's streams, uh, if he doesn't have any, un any people there right then, I feel like I'm spamming, too, because it's just me. <laughs> Somebody say something! <laughs> okay, here's Azardy to save the day. <laughs> Whatever. Um. Yep, so I'm just... <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm just pinning... Pinning these sides together. So, um... We have about 16 minutes left, so let's see what we can get done. I feel like, I, I mean, I wish it didn't have to go so soon, but I've got a lot to get done for Christmas. I've got cookies to eat, I mean make, I mean... <laughs> so yeah, we'll continue the next hand pause next Thursday. I decided to move the the random streaming whatever. Uh, whatever we do that's random every week. I decided to move that to Thursdays because for whatever reason every Wednesday something comes up That's very important that I need to take care of so 
I guess Wednesday is cursed for me. So rather than saying to everybody every week, oh yeah, I'm going to be late to the stream or oh yeah, uh, stream is tomorrow. I'm just going to, at least for now, keep the stream on Thursdays because cursed Wednesday is cursed, you know? Here we go. So that's the front. <laughs> Aw yeah, the cat group with the sunglasses. All right, now I gotta pin these sides. <laughs> so I think, let's see here. We got both sides of this main paw area done. Oh, well, we will by today. So maybe next time we could do the fingers and the Laws. I guess we got a lot of work to do. <laughs> um, it actually might take two streams to finish this. Because the fingers will take one stream, and the claws and the lining, those take a long time, will probably be the last. So probably a three-parter on just working on these hand paws. It does add a little bit of extra time. Uh, since I decided to make it a little bit more color complex, but not that much. This is the hardest part of the color, is just this middle section here. There we go. Higgoos, yeah! I don't. I mm, I wish I could remember, cause uh, it was just a maybe a week ago. I was seeing somebody in chat in the in a chatting on Twitter about that, and there was a there was a website of some artist that did personalized kigus of whatever you wanted, and it was really cool. But man, I can't remember. I mean, if you want, uh, if you want something affordable, if Walmart has it, go ahead. Uh, if you want something super high quality, yeah, you're gonna have to commission it. But if you just, if you don't really mind, I mean, um, Walmart does sell good ones. It's never, they're not bad quality, they're just, um, not superior quality, like handmade ones are, obviously, so. I don't know if they have shark ones, but if they do, um... That would probably be a good place to look. Okay. Good, good. <sighs> so now we're just going to run these through the sewing machine. We're going to have these really cool opposite colored paws. Okay. I hope the sewing machine isn't too loud for you guys. <laughs> Honestly though, I think I'm louder than the sewing machine. <laughs> dragon one. Oh, Shoot. So ideally what I would do for that is I would make like a like I okay I would cut a hole there and I would find more fabric that would match and um I would make it I would make another hole like a Cut out fabric to replace that hole, but make it bigger, so that that spot where the hole is, you can have a flap and put some Velcro to keep it down. And then if you want to wear the tail, you can take it off. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, you don't want to get another one just for that. That's so struggle. That's such a struggle. Everything is expensive, huh? These days, you just can't afford to live. I want to see your your kegu. That's probably a cool one. That's true. If you just if you just put like little holes. You know what fabric it's made out of? Like it won't it won't rip if you put little holes in there, will it? Like it won't shred. It's probably Short for cool, all right. Yeah, probably, it probably wouldn't rip. Yeah, kind of like a buttonhole. Um, did you know that sewing machines actually have a setting where they can, it, it automatically sews around the buttonhole. So it, it like, uh, make it, it makes it stabilize, so. That's really cool. So I don't have to do it by hand, or even by, by hand with the machine, go back and forth, make it strong there. Just like, it'll just do it for you. I'll have, I'll have an, uh, a special day where I just show off all of the sewing machine things, that the different things it does, because that's really cool. Okay, here's the back, here's the front, and we have the other hand paw here. There we go, there's the back, there's the front. And we can try switching it, see which ones we like, which way we like it better. Oh, I like that. That's really nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. So actually, it will be easier if you don't sew the fingers. Okay, if you sew these pieces together, that's what you're gonna end up doing anyways, but it's easier to sew the fingers on first. So don't sew these two pieces together until after you get the fingers on. Because, I mean, it's totally, it's, it's totally workable, but it's easier to not do that. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it. I think it looks cool. I've never made any like this before. They look pretty, pretty rad, I think. All right. So now that we've done that, let's see what we should do next. Well, we've got that whole base piece. Um, I guess let's cut out the inside of the fingers. So. Oh, oh, I hit a button. Help. Okay. So this says outer. So this is the outer finger. It'll go here. And to do this finger, you're just going to take the same one and... Oh, no, I dropped it. Take the same one and flip it over. And there's an, a separate one over here for the inner finger because they're shaped a little bit differently. So... Um, let's start with the outer finger. So for each, so technically we're going to have four of these when we're done for this set of hand paws. Because we're going to cut out two. So let's see. Looking at our pattern here, uh, if we just did one hand paw here, we're going to need two. We're going to need an inside that's red and an inside that's black. So we're going to cut out one of each. And then we'll flip it for the other side over here. So, all right, streaming at four, good. Um, I'll, I think, so basically you're, you're in like 10, 10 ish minutes, five to 10 minutes, right? I think, I think that's what you're saying. Okay, yeah, five, okay, that's what I thought, five o'clock, yeah. 
um, we're basically done for today because we're out of time. I gotta go, but if you guys want to keep working on it, that's what I'll do. Um, trace an outside, outside, and then for the other hand paw, an outside, and an outside. Just gotta flip it. Um, so I'll trace that, cut those out. Um, that's what I'll be doing next. And I'm gonna just... Pers um, you could keep going if you want, but personally, I'm going to just uh, stop it um, right here for now, and I'm going to finish later, so we're going to keep working on this next Wednesday. I did say I was going to suit up, so, um, I don't know. Suiting up might have to wait, or I'm not sure if I'll keep going on these or suit up first, so, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Just keep up with the Discord, and, uh, you can see where we're at what we're going to get doing. Yeah. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yep. It's on Thursday now. I got to remember that. So our Wednesday uh, stream is always going to be on Thursday now because I, I had trouble with Wednesday. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yep. Good. I need his help all the time. Yep. We'll continue next Thursday. So, uh, I'll see you guys then. Alright. Bye! <laughs>